Psst, disclaimer. I think it would be really fun if the graduate with the lowest GPA also gave a speech. The anti- <laughs> Validationarian, if you will. It's like a participation medal, but even worse because it's like you came last. <laughs> it's like if we feel bad for you award. Well, good evening, ladies, lasses, and lasses, and welcome to today's presidential debate. We're gonna get political here today, so I hope you are ready for a ride. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. We are gonna look at r slash non political Twitter. Well, isn't that a relief, everyone? It's just applauding. I can hear it from here. I do hope you enjoy it. LOL, mom. Why the hell did you tell your father BDSM stands for burgers, drinks, and salsa music? He just invited Bob and Agnes to come over tonight for a BDSM party. We are not done talking about this. <sighs> they did you a favor. You gotta loosen up there, mom. Or, you know, not loosen up because you're gonna get tied down. Oh, so wow, okay. Well, <laughs> I, did not, I did not intend for this to go this far. I'm gonna move on to the next meme before we get political. If I was an Italian plumber whose girlfriend was constantly being imprisoned in castles by an evil fire-breathing lizard, I will simply not take part in recreational go-kart races with aforementioned lizard. That's a quitter's attitude. If your girlfriend gets kidnapped, you have to beat them in, in a, in a go-kart race <laughs> to establish your manly dominance. Yes, indeed, I will plumb your pipes, my princess. Can't believe every father in the world was born today. Can we just have an applaud for International Father Birthday Day? How does that work? Do you like it born as a father? So you already have a child. This, we're getting into some like time paradox right here. I love this. I love this is good. This is good. Tune in for the next educational stream, by the way, where, when we talk about time travel and string theory. Probably not. I didn't know F1 had subtitles. Zoom, 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 zoom. I am lifeguarding and I just witnessed an eight year old girl tell this boy that they can't be together because he has a phone and she doesn't. He then threw his phone in the dive pool and said, nothing can keep me from you. This generation loves so hard, wow. Yeah, these are goals. Then reality hits and your real life love is a sham. I mean, uh, Godspeed, young one. I look so summery today. It's so hot here. Um, and, and, and you are also very hot and I'm sitting here with an ice cube in my lap because otherwise you get overwhelmingly hot. <coughs> Anyway, people who argue to win instead of discussing to understand are the worst. Oh my, yeah, it's so true. Jesus Christ. The best discussions I have ever had with friends of mine or really smart people or colleagues or whatever it is, is when both people kind of take the personality out of the discussion and we're both in it to kind of, hey, I'll make my case, but maybe I'll learn something new. I had my, I, my opinion changed recently by one topic. We were talking about stuff just sitting late one night in Discord. It's a beautiful thing. Here is how I usually feel. We're going on a way on a tangent here, but this is beautiful. Here is pretty much how I see it. Facts, individual pieces of like hard facts. They're like Lego pieces. You don't pull apart individual Lego pieces. Uh, your opinion is basically what you build out of all these Lego pieces. If your opinion is too skewed or too biased, you will only choose Lego pieces of a certain shape or certain color, and then your opinion is kind of sucks up. Um, but that's pretty much how you do it. You can rebuild a Lego house, but the individual pieces that represent the facts uh, can be exchanged, or you can add new pieces to it and, and build a better structure. So that's the best way to think about it. Opinions are very much imperfect. Anyway, the Domino's Pizza Tracker says Alfred is quality checking my order, but but Alfred also made it. Isn't this a conflict of interest? Ha! My boyfriend took me to get undies and he wanted to embarrass me, so he said real loud, I can't wait to rip these off with my teeth. And I replied with, seriously, you need to stop. You're my brother. I won. Ah, <sighs> plot twist, they were only cousins. Anyway, that's just the theme of all my videos. Awkward silence. So anyway... <laughs> my dad bought 15 mangoes and didn't tell my mom, so she bought 10 mangoes. And now we are the people from the math problems. <sighs> Seems like the relationship isn't quite adding up. <laughs> Your problems are multiplying. <laughs> we are a very divided people with lots of division. Ho 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 ho! Hey baby, I will integrate your curves. Oh my god, what the f- Ow, f that hurt. I'm getting too excited about this, I'm sorry. I saw the angel in the marble and carved until I set him free. Michelangelo. The fact that he was a turtle makes this so much more impressive. It's not teenage mutamin- Okay, yeah, he was also a teenager, very gifted. Uh, oh. Movies be so fun, then boom, unnecessary scene. The naughty scenes in the movies, it's just like real life filled of unnecessary it's beautiful, relatable. <laughs> Removing RAM from a computer while it's on. <laughs> 
This uh, visually represents a computer screaming as you chop off parts of its brain. Oh my god, at least give it a set of the first. Oh no, is that piece really supposed to go out? At the gym, I said subscription instead of membership, and the girl replied with, Lol, this isn't a pharmacy. Bish, that's a prescription. We're both stupid. It's a match made in heaven. You know, they usually say that like two half-brained people makes one whole-brained person, like two stupid makes a smart person. It isn't additive. It's like multiplicative. If you have two stupid people going at it, they typically make up even worse ideas because they just encourage each other. So it's more like two half-wits creates a quarter wit instead of a full wit. Uber will soon know if you're drunk and could refuse to pick you up. That defeats the whole point of Uber. This makes me uber sad if I'm uber drunk. <laughs> Getting to that age where all the good people are taken now, so I'm going to have to wait another five to ten years and swoop in after the divorces. Bold of you to assume there aren't good people to begin with. All right, moving on. Anyone else go through that occasional phase where the toast and butter is just the tastiest thing in creation on the planet, and you have to restrain yourself from eating an entire loaf of bread in ten minutes, or is it just me? Put the malt and butter all over your baguette, good sir. Not like that, it's literally bread. Get your mind, your mind gutter out now. Samsung's new fridge will ping your phone if you leave the door open. Why the frick doesn't he just close the door itself if, if it's so smart? Take that Samsung fridge brain gut. <laughs> My girlfriend said, is there basketball on? Then put on the game and walked away. Two hours later, I'm like, what, what is she doing? She's napping. She turned it on to keep me occupied like a toddler. You know what they say? Men don't actually grow up or toys just get more expensive. People need to stop being so serious about growing up. Like, God, if you can't act childish once in a while, even when you're adult, like, Jesus, I have people in my family who are like 60 now, <laughs> and they can be the most childish people I know. I mean, they are very mature, smart people, but they still like loosen up sometimes and can be super childish. And it's amazing. Ah, oh, if you take yourself too seriously, that's just a metaphor for boring. Why are rags so expensive? Pillows? Curtains? Why does the trash can fill up so fast? Why do I have to clean my kitchen so much? Where the frick is all this dust coming from? I hate adulting. New rock, paper, scissors just dropped. Canine bites cow. Deputy tastes canine. Cow kicks deputy. <laughs> Hey, Stacy, want to play canine deputy cow? Oh, hell yeah. You clap when the plane lands? That's cute. I clap the entire flight. Sit down, sweetie. My hands are bleeding. Bodily liquids, they espastrugamate. They laugh, they pla clap. Every minute you don't crash is a minute of success. All of my plans for the future involve me waking up tomorrow with a sudden sense of discipline and adherence to routine that I've never displayed even once in my life. I mean, honestly, I feel so called out. Oh my god, that's so good. I feel so called out by this. And, uh, yes. I can't really argue with this. I was going to make a smart argument, but I can't. Judge, do you swear to speak the truth and nothing but the truth? Yes. Who do you like? <laughs> um, get there. <laughs> Run around the courtyard five laps and then you go to jail. We're not telling us your crush. Strange how people run from the rain but yet dance in the shower. It's consent. Ah. There is something inspiring happening behind the curtain. Yay! Lies! Blue bin, I'm doing my best, sad smiley. Girls be like, can you get my lip gloss or my purse? Just reach in a head left, take a right to the wallet, then turn left till you pass through nut grain bars, and then take your next right and head straight, and it should be there. If you hit the 2007 target receipts, you've gone too far. How <laughs> you silly bean? Am I the only one who feels like I'm invading an incredibly personal space whenever someone asks me to dig through a purse? It's like weird. And I think it's more uncomfortable for me when the, than, than the purse I was gonna say. Guys who drive automatic. My car is automatic. Guys who drive manual. I will never drive an automatic because I am a real driver and I'm one with my machine. After I drive, I put the shift in my... Because me and my machine are one. I also put a ring on it. I give everyone permission to milk my death for personal benefits if I die. I don't care if we're just acquaintances, if we ever talked, and I suddenly drop dead. One day, I want you to tell your boss that you lost a friend and take the day off. My treat. Serving us with banger twits in life. Serving us with days off in death. Isn't that just, oh, it's beautiful. Imagine, the year is 1799. You and your lads just bought tickets to see Beethoven. An hour in, this man turns to the crowd and yells, Who's ready for some of that unreleased shite? Symphony number one place. Crowd absolutely loses their minds! Sorry, I don't know why I went all Jacksepticeye there for a second, but I, I, I feel like this is a bunch of Jacksepticeyes watching this. I just had a beautiful image in my mind. Remembering that time in grad school when my advisor, a great ornithologist, got a random call. A drunk guy, bar noise in the background. Is this the bird, professor? My advisor, <clears throat> yes. Drunk guy, do, do hummingbirds have feet? 
My advice, sir, yes. Wild cheering over phone from bar. Woo! They have feet. Drunk people are so beautiful sometimes. It's just they're happy for the for the best things ever. It's like children. They're like loud partying children. <laughs> marry a guy who will email you when you block him. Fellas, marry a woman that doesn't play these kind of games. What do you actually want? Do you want someone who are to harass you? Usually, when someone blocks you, it means leave me alone. I find you abhorrent. It's like, no, he should be so stocky and needy, otherwise he doesn't show that he loves you enough. And I'm gonna block him as a test to see if he still bugs me on all my other platforms? What kind of toxic shit is this? I love these pillows made by Mary Queen of Scots when she was in prison that looked like modern shit posts. A cat. I did that the cat. I can post this to Twitter. <laughs> Interesting fact, T-shirt is actually short for Tyrannosaurus shirt, because of the short arms. Marry me! Dear God! That is so- I'm so proud of your dad jokes! My God, yes! Oh my God, why I have one dad when you can have two daddies? I bet more people would watch ending credits if they added a frick you section underneath the special thanks section. That is so dramatic. To the light guy Steve who quit without telling us the password to the software so had to reset everything. Frick you! You can taste the photos. You can taste the spoon more than the ice cream. Do, do you guys also have this thing where you have, for example, a wooden spoon or a wooden ice cream stick and you suck on it and it's like... Even the thought of that makes your entire body shiver. My body is shivering. Why did I think? So anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's suffering because the rest of your day will look much better after this video. Mwah. School, your paper must be minimum five pages. Real world, explain it to me in seven seconds or I'm out of here. I don't understand that. Every single place in your life rewards you for providing as much information with as few words as possible. Like be efficient. But in school it's like, oh my god, drag it out and use big words so it looks bigger. When you're cutting wrapping paper and your scissors start to glide as why I imagine heroin feels like. It's gonna be like a like a freaking drug den, but everything is just super sharp scissors and and wrapping paper. Oh yeah! My GF, he's so immature. I think I'm gonna dump him. Her friend, yeah. Remember when he got excited that he could drink two Capri Suns at once? I walk in holding three Capri Suns. Babe, you're not gonna freaking believe this! Oh my God, I am so good at life. Fellas, when you send unsolicited pee, pee pics, you're driving the cost of pee, pee down. In a capitalist market, you're providing too much pee, pee to the consumers, and they don't want it. We need dick scarcity to create dick demand. Thread 118. Yeah, I like. Yeah, it's it's just providing with strategy. I, I kind of get that feeling though. Like the the one percent of needy people really frick the other 99 percent over, don't they? Because they like go around and just send these pee, pee pics to everyone. So everyone is already sick of them, even though it's only one percent of schmucks that are actually sending them. And it's like, well, thank you for ruining for the rest of us, you god imbecile. Nothing makes me laugh as consistently as remembering the story of Hitchbot, the hitchhiking robot that made it all the way across Canada and tried to do the same in the US, but was immediately beaten to death in Philadelphia. <laughs> USA! USA! <laughs> My tiny Italian landlord strikes again. There is an attractive man here to see you. Why did I turn Irish? Okay, we're just gonna go with Irish. Haha, <laughs> that's John, you can send him back downstairs. Is John going to be a regular guest? It's a, it's an Irish it's it's an Irish Italian. Get 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 with it. <laughs> well, John is a good friend, but he's gay if that's what you're asking me. You should get a straight guy here if you learn good pasta. This Sunday, come upstairs. I'll show you how to make a risotto that will get you married and out of my basement. Smiling, but I'm hiding my pain inside, but it's leaking out of my eyes. Tim Burton, I have a movie to pitch. Executive. Oh boy, here we go. Tim Burton, it's a love story. Exact. Go on. Tim Burton, about two people from different parts of town. Exact. Sounds pretty cute, actually. Tim Burton. Oh, and he's super emo and has sisters for hands. Exact. There it is. Why is the chosen one always a teenager? We're really gonna put the fate of the universe on someone with an undeveloped prefrontal cortex? Give me a story with the chosen one who is a 42 year old mom that has already seen some shite and is totally out of fricks to give. Honestly, I would vibe with that so well. Like, it always has to be this over-dramatized teenager thing. And then it's always over-sexualized too. Like, this character is 16. You want you want to watch them make out with a bunch of characters? I mean, I know the actor is 25, but that's kind of weird. Uh, what, what is, what is, what's up with that? No, I would love, a 42-year-old mom is just like done with your shite. Yeah, sounds like an awesome, like, sarcastic anti-hero. I love it. One time I accidentally went to the men's washroom instead of the women's. I only found out after I opened the pad and the person in the stall next to me said, Dude, it must be a huge shite if you're having snacks in here. Good luck. 
I choked on my water. <laughs> Meeting girlfriend's parents. I am a big fan of your work. Your genes combined very well into that hot squeeze of a daughter. Sorry, I don't know why that keeps coming out. How did the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog become the typical sentence that contains all letters of the alphabet and not Sphinx of Black Courts judge my vow, which is objectively a million times cooler. Just ate an ice cream sandwich in 20 seconds while holding the freezer door open so my kids couldn't see what I was doing. Oven. I need foreplay, baby. Give me some time to warm up for you. See he. Microwave. Shove it in raw! I don't give a frick! I'll finish in two minutes! I just saw a guy in the library cry for five minutes or so, and then his phone alarm went off, and he's just stopped crying and went right on back to work. <laughs> you know, it's important to take a little bit of a cry, but cry break in your day. <laughs> Anyone else rip their mask off when they get into the car like they've just finished a disappointing surgery on Grey's Anatomy? Ah, groceries suck! Joseph Durkrex. <laughs> it's like Dukan or something like that, probably, but Durkrex. Joseph Durkrex, 1735 to 1802, was a French painter who is known primarily for his unorthodox self portraits. We have O, we have we have we have sh 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 stop posting every thought on Twitter. Lady in Walmart told her son, "Put that shite back." So loud, I almost put my shite back. She she drives the entire store out of business. Ah, frick! Lol, whoops! Oh, frick! I've made an irreversible fatal error. Yeah, that's very true. Why is that so true? Yo, am I the only one who does this really relatable and generic thing everyone else does? Ah, ha, ha, it's so quirky. I, 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 I'm so. I am very relate. George Washington died in 1799. The first dinosaur fossil was discovered in 1824. George Washington never knew dinosaurs existed. That's kind of wild. Interviewer. Hi, Gil. Is Gil short for Gilbert? Me, king of Uruk. No, it's short for Gilgamesh. Okay, uh, Gilgamesh, can I still call you Gil for... <laughs> Doctor, seeing scratches all over my back. Well, I can see you're sexually active. Me, remembering drunkenly mistaking a raccoon for Yoda and putting him in my backpack to train me as a Jedi. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I did like a hundred of so far. I did like all of the It's so many, I can't even count them on fingers. Oh my god, because I'm the coolest boy. My grandma is 75, and she told me her and her best friend text each other a smiley face every morning to make sure the other one woke up. Oh, that's so wholesome and kind of sad. Aww. The frick is a group chat. I'm an adult. I only have two friends, and they don't know each other. It's me, myself, and I. After seeing the Earth from the moon, Neil Armstrong said it changed his perspective of humanity. Before, there were arbitrary divisions and strife, but afterwards, he only saw one people. All losers who hadn't been on the moon ever! A woman will break your heart, but your friend Ricky will break your DS like he sat on it and he really should pay for it, but his mom is taking his side and she's not making him pay for it, which sucks. Gus, who hurt you? Or who hurt your DS? Which hurt you by proxy? <sighs> Another beautiful day without using sin, cause, or tan. Unless you showed up for the clicky homework stream, check me out on Twitch, where I play video games, do just chatting, and have homework streams. Which is really cool, because I'm a cool kid. Boss, you're fired for putting a curse on Susan. Me, okay? Susan trapped in an oil painting for eternity. Can you lift the curse? Sorry, I don't work here. What should we call our matches? I don't know, something normal. Impregnated Goblin! Safety match! Made in Sweden! Oh my god, good old Sweden! I think impregnated in this case, it's like when you impregnerar. Impregnate wood. You basically process the wood and squeeze a bunch of into it so so the wood doesn't rot and that kind of thing. So maybe it's like that that but with matches kind of. You shouldn't burn that though because it's bad. But maybe it's like pre pre knowing that or it's just pregnant pregnant matches. So anyway, Luke, I am going to put my lightsaber in your head. R two K. Luke, you're gonna sneak it into the palace. Cool. And then the timing is right. You're gonna eject it out of your head, and I'm gonna do a front flip and catch it. R2. <sighs> That's freaking red. USPS tracking. Step one. We're not sure it exists. It's arrived. The idea that the ideal beach body just means being thin or buff is so unimaginative. Surely the ideal beach body would have a powerful lobster claw, arm flaps to act as a windbreak, and a sand repellent anus. I would kill for a sand repellent anus. Oh my god. 
Why haven't Evolution given us this yet? Evolution, you suck. Hmm, should I spend two seconds clicking unsubscribe or one second deleting an email from this company every single day for the rest of my life? I'll take, I'll take $500 for number two, please. Thank you. Always thought you'd have to be really stupid to fall for a clown's cream pie to the face trick until I realized I've been getting cream pied by clowns for years. Ha 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 ha, that's, that's very naughty. I hate lazy people. Why? We didn't even do anything! Dude, oh, that's the end of it, oh my god! I was having fun. We got very political today. I do hope you enjoyed today's very political video. It's a bit controversial, but you know, that's- that- just vibe with it. Just vibe- it's, it's fine. So anyway, vote for the clicky party. We will give land sharks to the people. And uh, I hope to see you in the next video. Take care, you beautiful beans. Mm.